Welcome back, welcome back. I'm MTG Joe. Uh, today I'm gonna come with a quick one. Uh, so we're just doing an offline stream or video replay. Uh, this is a best of one mono white life gain deck. I uh, got a couple minutes, so I wanted to do a quick video for the day. Um, so this deck here is basically uh, Timmy's Delight, uh, playing a bunch of life gain stuff, making really big Ajani's Pride Mates, drawing a bunch of cards with Donna Hope, hopefully and uh, kind of winning the game that way. Um, so the deck itself, number of one drops, uh, Dauntless Bodyguards in here to protect our Pride Mates or uh, like our Lyra's or Splendid Angels, Healer Hawks, one mana Life Linker, Leon and Vanguard could trigger life gain every turn, uh, Johnny's Welcome gains us life when creatures enter the battlefield, God's Willing is protection, but also a way to make our big Pride Mates unblockable. We have, uh, obviously, the namesake, Kajani's Pride Mate. Whenever you gain life, you put a 1-1 counter on it. Uh, Donna Hope is a way for us to gain card advantage, or if we flood out, uh, basically make a lot of tokens. They also have Life Link. Resplendent Angel, 3 of, is just kind of in the 3-drop slot. Uh, gains us If we gain 5 or more life, we get to create 4-4 four, four Angels. Uh, same with... Uh, Lyra is a way to make our angels gain lifelink, kind of plays with that. A couple of the prison effects in white, obviously in terms of exile, both are ways to deal with planeswalkers. Um, to fairies could like bounce and reset, so something like that to keep in mind. Unbreakable formation is another way to protect, so a lot of the deck is protect the queen style, so protect, protect, protect. Uh, Gideon is a way for us to trigger lifelink, it's an attacker on its own, uh, can give it vigilance so we can attack and block. Ajani Strength of the Pride is basically a factory for Ajani's Pride Mates. Let's pump them out. Uh, gains us life and we can use its zero ability in a pinch to exile uh, each artifact and creature opponent's control. So if we're playing like Scape Shift, we can wipe their board. Uh, so it's a four mana board wipe in a sense. Uh, mana base pretty simple. 19 planes, three Field of Ruins for uh, Field of the Dead or any of those problematic cards. This is best of one, so no sideboard. Um, we'll run it through, uh, see how it goes. So let's respin. We're playing a mono white deck, uh, 25 lands. We'll play with that. So I'll come back uh, with like an actual uh, stream. I'll we'll come and look at some more of the rotation proof decks. Oh, I did best of three. We do not have a best of three deck. Uh, play best of one. Cool. Um, and we'll go from there. Uh, so you can catch me on Twitch. Uh, the best way to know when I go live is to just follow on Twitch, or you can catch all my videos on YouTube at MTG Sword Joe. Um, so this hand's not too bad. We can Pride Mate, Gate Leon, and Going, and then have that. So we'll keep. I'm just gonna set up this turn with the Johnny's Welcome. We lose one point of attack, but we gain the life back. Alright, so just get Vanguard going. Gain the life. We'll see if this is the flash deck. Sorry, my dog's sitting right beside. She uh, is insisting I pet her. Yeah, so it is either mono blue or the flash deck. Some refreshing chocolate milk. Yeah, so it's the flash deck. We're gonna have a hard time probably getting down these threats. I would imagine this is a tough matchup. I'm gonna attack first, see if I can get them to block, because if we get Resplendent Angel down, I'm feeling pretty confident. It's bigger than most of their flyers in the air. Oh, okay, so we got to tap out, which is good. I'm fine with that trade there. This blocks both their attackers. They could have him summon. I'm gonna keep that for when they drop the wolf. Uh, so we can try to bait them out with a Johnny.
they can tap down. So I'm gonna do this now. We're not it's not mana efficient, but it protects if they have another flyer. We'll just attack in. We're okay to take like hits on the backswing. We'll just pass turn. This does allow him to deploy another threat. Okay, so they do have unsummon. A little unfortunate. Probably attack him with a sailor. Oh, they go with both. Nope. So obviously no blocks here. Uh, so our turn. So same idea, I'm gonna attack in with the bodyguard. All right, so playing this out now, if they have a counter spell, they'll use it. It keeps them from playing the wolf. Uh, that's the worst. Yeah, I'm just gonna concede. We're not gonna beat this matchup. This mat, like this deck, preys on slow mid range. So if we're not able to establish a quick enough clock, and then especially because that counter was a frilled mystic, it's not only like a counter; it's three power that comes to board as well. So we'll run it back, see how it goes. The life gain decks are usually something that's requested from time to time. Played a couple variants. There's like a black white version you could play as well. Uh, no life gain engine explicitly, but it's a pretty nice curve if we draw lands. At the very least, it's one drop, two drop. Curving out here. Let's attack in first. If they have like a spectral sailor or something. Last turn. Okay, so same deck again, but this game we are a little bit quicker to board. So here, I'm going to force their hand, so this makes them have to tap out if they're going to play it, so then I feel more comfortable about the attacks. Oh, the fact that that resolved is pretty big. Um, in that case, I'm just going to attack in with the bodyguard. I don't want them to flash in like a Brineborn cutthroat or something else. This might also be mono blue. Nope, it's the flash deck. Or like that mono blue pirates list. Nope, Simic. So here. Just attack like this. We have unbreakable formation if they try to flash in like some blocker to get resplendent angel down. Okay. So I'm just gonna play this. If they wanna waste a counter on it. Because if we could sneak the, the Ajani down, we're in a really good spot. And if they attack with Brineborn, we can try to force something out with Unbreakable Formation. So they keep it on top, might be a lands, just another Brineborn. It might get aggressive and attack in. Oh, 
which might be a way for us to catch them. Okay, so we'll go to our turn. So same idea, this is good because it triggers before. So this might force a counter out of them. And if they're wasting counters on Leon and Vanguard, then it's a pretty good spot for us. Because we're just trying to draw into our sixth land for Respondent Angel. So obviously not mana efficient. So just attacking with the flyers. This isn't really a good block anymore. Okay, so they go trickster. We're going to use the formation to protect it. So this also takes out their Spectral Sailor, which is their card drive. So we don't quite get to kill Brineborn, but it is important to keep our Resplendent Angel alive. Because now our pride mate will start getting bigger. Ooh, we got God's Willing too. So God's Willing is a way we can sneak the win through. Um, so same idea. Let's go to attackers. We'll attack in with our flyers. If they decide basically to deal with the game equals number of creatures plus planeswalkers. Let's see if they have another trickster. Just go on summon here. Do we God's willing? No, I think we This is starting to get to lethal. I'm gonna play the pride, the strength of the pride here. I'd rather Resplendent Angel get down. Right, I have Sabotage. We're still big enough to block one of them, and if I have to throw this in front, we're at a good life total as well. Getting the Spectral Sailor off the board was pretty good for us. Lyra is also nice. So we'll just set it up. We can present lethal next turn, potentially. We got the Essence Scatter. We can go to the beginning of combat next turn. Put a uh, counter, make this nine power, try to God's willing it if it goes through, pro blue. That's fine, no blockers. Okay, so we have the a Johnny's welcome. Okay, so they opt, I guess, to make it bigger, try to find something. I'm gonna do this now, just because they're more likely to draw something after that. 
And that might be the way we sneak it through. Right, so they sent us their sabotage. Let's get a bigger. They are at a card. Well, they'll draw a card off that. Still nine power. So not quite enough. That'll get it to ten. Just set this up. If we draw like a dork or something, it could be a way. No, don't want to sack you. Okay, so I think at this point, them taking half our life is big enough. Okay, so one card in hand. Let's force the play out of them, if they have it. They drew the sabotage. That's what they were looking for. Gets it up to 11. So the nice thing is we can still block one of them. Can actually block either of them at this point. Okay, they're holding back. Same idea. Can you beat Alira? <clears throat> okay, let's get some going. That's 14. I'm just going to attack in the air for one, because Lyra presents lethal next turn. And this holds back their attackers. Fine. Night Pack doesn't really do much on this board state. They need a flyer. Got him! Alright. So in a way, we're 1-1 one one against Simic Flash. Let me know if there's any of the other rotation proof decks you're interested in seeing. I'll probably do a team or elementals one next. Um, I don't know if we'll do it the four color or like with Yarek with Thunderkin Awakener. So this hand's a little awkward. We don't really have much to get it going. I do. If we had another land, I'd probably keep. But okay, this hand's much better. Uh, I'm gonna put the. I think we put the Prison Realm back. Okay, so this is Vampires. Do you have First Strike? No, you... You just get to 2 power. So I'm gonna go Hawk first. Hawk can fly over. Start gaining us some life. We can double Vanguard next turn. No blocks here. This will be an interesting matchup. We might be able to do like a proactive uh, unbreakable formation here. Put a 1 1 counter on our team and just blow them out that way. It's a different take. Uh, no blocks here. We don't have much action otherwise. Ooh, Gideon's good. Together, we can banish evil from this plane. So... Let's give you Vigilance. Prepare for battle! Uh, Gideon's... Probably dead. We can probably be strategic. That puts us back up to quite a bit. 
these go wide strategies are going to be a, a difficulty for uh, and the sanctum seeker. Yeah, we're probably dead. If they disregard. I think we gotta just... No blocks here. Okay, Leon and Warguard is pretty good. Gains us some more life. Doing this now. Uh, you're two, you'll go up to three. Three, so we can give one of you life link. Uh, just give you vigilance. Share my light. Um, so just attack with you two, and then have you guys back as blockers. They're gonna hit us for both next turn. Hit us for at least six. It takes us down to 10, then we got a block. These having flying is also somewhat relevant. So I'm definitely blocking Maverin here. Can attack with Gideon and then minus it to uh, take out Sanctum Seeker. A pretty conservative attack. So we're gonna do this. So we can gain a bunch of life, or we can make a pride mate and get a ton of triggers, and just make a really big creature. Our true strength lies in our friendships. So this gets up to five. So I'm just going to attack in with Gideon here because I'm going to down tick it to get rid of Sanctum Seeker. That's the way we die this turn. Because I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 triggers. So unfortunately we do lose it, but it's the safest kind of approach. My sword is your end. They got Conquistador here. So if they throw multiple things at a Johnny, I'll let it go through. That's fine. Because I could block in front of there. They pump it up anyways, so it's dead. The block there. It's dead. So no blocks. Johnny did what it needed to do. I hope we Soaked up five soon. damage. Made a five five. Ah, so flooding out a bit here. So it's getting pretty big. Can get up to nine. I take two. It's probably fine. Because we're gonna block. We're not really gonna attack in with those. Um, I'm gonna hold the land. I'm just gonna field them on end turn to thin out our deck. This deck doesn't really have 
utility land, so it's not much use to them. Cool. So, two and one with the deck. Not a bad showing. Obviously, being mono white has its limitations, but overall, not a bad deck. So, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, also, if there is any decks for rotation proof that you'd like me to explore, I can put up a couple more videos, hopefully, at the end of this week. And as always, if you enjoy the content, want to show your support, there's a couple of free and easy ways to do so. One, subscribing on YouTube. Two, following on Twitch. And the third option is if you're planning on buying cards from TCG Player, I do have an affiliate link in the video description down below. If you follow that link, do your normal purchase. It just lets them know that I sent you there. Thanks for tuning in as always, and have a great one.